if we look at the possibility of these large extra dimensions, which you said might be infinite in size, are we limited to these uh, extra six or seven dimensions other than the three we see? Or might there be a vast number of infinite number of, of, of dimensions as well as each one being infinite in size? How many infinities are we dealing with here? Well, we think that 11 is the upper limit. Uh, some people actually have looked at 12 dimensions. In 12 dimensions, you have two times. But in 13 dimensions, the universe becomes really unstable. I've looked at 13. It's a horrible dimension to work with mathematically. 12 seems to be the limit. And even in 12 dimensions, you have double times. Yeah, I don't know what to make of that. <laughs> but one thing is maybe we can experimentally see some of these uh, objects. Because if, so if a universe is hovering just above you, it is invisible to you, light goes underneath. And that may explain dark matter. Dark matter is invisible. It has gravity. We, the Hubble Space Telescope has given us maps sure. of this invisible matter. Maybe it's nothing but an ordinary galaxy hovering just above us in another dimension. Mm. If you read H.G. Wells' famous novel, The Invisible Man, he becomes invisible because he's blown into the fourth dimension. He's hovering just above us. Light goes underneath the invisible man, but he can look down on us. So perhaps Dark matter, which makes up most of the matter of the universe, is nothing but ordinary matter of a galaxy hovering in a parallel universe mm. just above us.